Hi, it's Kieran here from UNE Discovery Voyager Online. Now, as a geologist, rocks and minerals make me really, really curious, especially when they grow big crystals like this. Now, did you know you can actually find crystals in your own home, especially if you've got some of this in your pantry, rock salt. Now, rock salt is made of a mineral called halite, and that's the only rock in the world you can eat. But you might have another mineral in your cupboards somewhere at home. It's something called borax. So this is a cleaning product that's made from crushing up a mineral called borax. Um, and we're gonna use this today to grow some of our own crystals at home. So to do this, first of all, we need some borax. We need a heat proof jar and a spoon. We need some food coloring and we need some boiling water. Um, and because borax isn't very good to get in your eyes, um, I'm gonna use some gloves and glasses as well. So if you wanna follow along with this video, you can pause it now um, and go and grab everything. Alrighty, let's get started. So the first thing we need is some boiling water. So make sure it's fresh out the jug. And into this, we're going to mix about four or five big teaspoons of borax for each cup of water that we use. What we want to do is to make something called a super saturated solution, which means we can't dissolve any more borax into this water. Um, so you'll know that you've managed to do that if when you try and stir it all in, it doesn't all mix in. You'll see a little bit of the powder still on the bottom. There's a little bit just there. Okay. Now we want to add some food colouring. I think I'm going to go for red today. Make sure you use a big squirt. If you only use a couple of drops, your crystals won't come out very coloured at all. They'll just look white. You don't have to use food colouring either. You can do them however you like. And we also need something for our crystals to grow on. So I've just made a little pipe cleaner shape here. Pipe cleaners work really well for this. Um, and I've just tied it up with a bit of cotton string. And we're just going to hang that in our mixture. Just like that. There we go. Now crystals take a little while to grow, so we'll need to leave this one for five to eight hours. So you can either do it overnight or you could do it first thing in the morning and watch them grow throughout the day. This is one I did yesterday. And this is what my crystals look like now. So I've got big pointy crystals growing off my pipe cleaner and they just look awesome. So give this a go at home. Um, uh, if it works for you, take some photos. Even if it doesn't work, take some photos and send it to us. Uh, we'd love to see how they look. Crystals always make different shapes depending on how they grow. If you keep it warm for a really long time um, and it cools down very slowly, your crystals will grow nice and big and they'll look just awesome. I'd love to see how they turn out. Thanks.